Hello guys and welcome to the first Max Slasher tutorial. Um, so in this video I'll show you guys how to install and play Left 4 Dead 2 in your Mac. Um, there are actually already tutorials on the web about that, but them only work in older versions of the OS X, like Lion and Mountain Lion. And so this one will actually work on Mavericks. So as you can see, my Mac's on 10.9.4, which is the last Mavericks update. Um, so I've put some links on the description. The first one is for uTorrent, which for me is the best uh, BitTorrent client. If you wanna, if you wanna download another one, it's okay. Be free to do that. But for me, th this is the best one. Of course, you need a BitTorrent downloader first of all to then continue to the other downloads. So the second link is for the Left 4 Dead 2 torrent. It is a big torrent, so you have to be patient. It took two hours for me, so it's gonna depend on your internet connection, but I can tell you that the cedars are actually from great quality. Um, after that, the third link is for the CXZ game engine. This is crucial for your game to work. Um, so please download everything that I'm telling you guys right here, otherwise the game won't work. The fourth link is One Butler, which will run Windows-based programs on a Mac, as the own website says. Uh, simply click on the stable version, download. It's going to automatically download. Um, after it downloads, it's going to be as a, as a usual um, app that you install, uh, nothing new. Uh, the last link is Wineskin Winery. Uh, the same thing as, as Wine, simply download and install. Uh, nothing, nothing too different. For the CXC engines, you only have to open the, the .mpkg, which is the package that comes in the torrent, and install everything and install all the engines that, that it shows you. Um, after you've, you've downloaded and installed this all, as you can see here it is, the wine bottler and wine from the wine installation and wine skin winery. Um, after the Left 4 Dead 2 download finishes, please open up the ISO and drag your Left 4 Dead 2 app into the applications folder. So a lot of people simply open Launchpad and, and click on the Left 4 Dead 2 app. It will bounce for a minute or so in the dock and nothing will happen. So this is what you have to do. In your finder, go into your applications folder, find Left 4 Dead 2, right click it, show package contents. Uh, it doesn't matter if your folders doesn't look like mine, you don't have to worry about this. Simply do as I'm telling you to. Contents, root, drive C, program files, Left 4 Dead 2, and double click left for dead to dot x. Wine will open up. Um, there, run directly in blah blah blah. It's already going to be selected. So let it the way it is and, sim and simply click go. As you can see, here's the game. This little resolution bug is because I'm recording the screen, so you don't have to worry about that. It's not going to happen every time you open up left for dead 2. So first of all, um, options, video, and change your resolution to the usual one, to the right one. Here I'm going to play for you guys a little bit just so you can see that it actually works. So as you can see, it was pretty easy. Um, also, another thing that you'll notice is that the graphics are a bit chunky. If you want uh, the best performance for this game, I totally uh, recommend that you install Windows via Bootcamp. It's, it's, it's easy, there are already a lot of videos on the internet telling you how to do it. If you guys want, of course, I can do a video about it, but I don't think it's actually necessary. Um, so. Again, if you want the best performance, install Windows through Boot Camp. But uh, the, this game's performance in Mac is actually pretty good. So guys, this is it. I hope you've liked it. 
if this video helped you, please hit the like button. If you want to be tuned in into new tutorials and reviews of this channel, please hit subscribe. Um, thanks a lot for watching the video and I hope you guys liked it.